So when we look at ensuring that your data operations is reliable, you may actually start with looking at root cause analysis. So if you're currently an organization that's um, putting out fires on a regular basis, you want to be able to address and identify the issue much faster. And you know we provide alerts and watch for different um, failures and so forth like any other monitoring tool, but in order to really get at those difficult problems, uh, we provide various types of event correlation. And this really is about looking at all the things that are going on in an environment so that you can pinpoint the source of the problem, whether it's an issue with the overall environment health, whether there's contention for resources, you know, looking at how things might have changed or performed in the past, that sort of thing. So let me start by delving into the product and showing what root cause analysis is like. So what I'm looking at here is the Applications Explorer. And the Applications Explorer provides you a list of all of the jobs that are running in an environment. And here I wanna drill down and specifically look at the jobs that are, are failing. From here, I can take any particular job and I can drill down and I'm just a click away to see what is the error that caused this job to fail. And that's what most monitoring tools will hopefully let you see is that something has failed and help take you to the log Sometimes that's enough to figure it out, but sometimes it's not. Here we go beyond by looking at, well, how has this job been running in the past? Well, it looks like this has been failing quite regularly, but in other cases, maybe things have been successful and then all of a sudden uh, they began to fail. You may want to be able to compare, you know, what changed between a previous run and this run. And you might want to look at, was there contention for resources? Is the amount of data being processed growing? what have you. And all of these types of um, aspects might be the things that indicate whether, uh, you, know, the, you know, what in fact is the cause of a failure. So let's, let's look at one other aspect of event correlation. And that is, you know, what else was happening in the environment at the time that this job was running? And this view lets me see, well, maybe there's not a problem with this job. Maybe the overall environment was starved for resources. And here I can kind of see, um, you know, what else was running in that environment while this job started and during the duration of that job. And I can see if the system was overloaded. In this case, it, it was not above the capacity, so I can kind of rule that out. In other cases, maybe that's the source of the problem. So this is just another example of event correlation is looking at what's going on overall in the environment. and. And basically from various perspectives, it could be from a memory or a compute or what have you being able to compare what's happening.